Good afternoon, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing this afternoon? So, my lovely Pisces, my beautiful Pisces. Pisces, if you're here watching me, you have made it today. So, let's thank God for letting us be here, opening our eyes to be in each other's presence, right? So thank you for all those who like, share, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for all those who get private readings and donate. And thank you for all those who go onto my webpage and purchase my items, such as my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle. This candle is good, like I said, um, if you feel like somebody's doing you wrong. Or Black Magic, of course, right? This candle is Abundant Prosperity, Healing, Growth, Wall, and Fertility Candle. All right, this is the Love Yourself Candle. This is the Justice Candle. Justice will be served and it will be balanced no matter what. Pisces, whatever y'all going through right now, trust me, y'all may feel like it's a lot of weight on y'all, but things will ease on. You'll see it ease on, right? This is... um. This is, oh my God, the sage. It comes with Palo Santo. This is the walnut bath. This is my oils that come in dry form. These are my jewelry that you see me wearing on my wrist, on my ankles. Okay, you know this is my baby here. My crystals, I also got all kinds of stones. And crystals come with every part of your body. And every kind of uh, sickness or whatever you got that you can't sleep Think, stress, whatever anxiety, whatever disease, whatever sickness they pronounce that you had or whatever it is that you want to get over, you can find it in any stone. Trust and believe in me, even to balance yourself off, right? This is the detox salt bath, and this is what I'm known for. This is my baby, my Grammy, my Oscars, my everything. And I also got herbs in the bag if you... Don't have a tub and you want to still take a bath, you can. You still want to, uh, why is every time I get here, I got to yawn and do all that? What the hell is going on with that? Somebody must be exhausted or somebody must be stressed out, right? If, like I was saying, if you um, don't have a tub and you only have a shower, you can still take um, these spiritual baths and do your cleansing. Don't let nothing stop you from doing your cleansing. Okay? I do have um, the red brick dust. And that is good for protection and um, moving away from all kinds of detox things that you got may have going on. Okay? Um, so let's get down with the reading, my lovely Pisces. I love you all so much and so dearly. You mean a lot to me, the world to me, all right? I know that a lot of Pisces are going through a lot right now, but Pisces, everything, it seems like it may be a lot of weight on your back and on your shoulder, and we may be going through a lot with jobs and people, but like I said, on the morning reading, on the um, TikTok reading, you know, Pisces, these two show pass, you know what I mean? We go through tests, but God don't put nothing that you can't bear, right? It's always something, right? It's always something, always something. But there is a light at the end of the rainbow, best to believe that, all right? All right, so this is the Pope, the deep Pope cards, okay, Carol's. Again, thank you, uh... I don't know why is it that I'm tired like this every time I get on this altar. What is going on, Pisces? Um, also, for Nicole, um, tarots that are um, the sweet justice, it's called, right? Also, Pisces, I do have on my evil eye um, nails, all right? Evil eye nails, that's what they say they are. The cat eye nails or whatever they want to call them. That, and they turn colors, right? That's what they call. I don't know what the, what the lady said, but she, that's what she said. Um, the, the the tiger eyes or something. Okay, I'll take that one. And I y'all y'all don't see me with no dark nail colors. I don't do that. All right, all right, Pisces. 
Here we go. All right. Spirit, Archangel, Internal Art, please tell me what I need to know. The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Let me see what this Knight of Cups is doing. The Knight of Cups, sitting there with the cup. I'm just standing looking. The Knight of Cups does not move quickly, okay? The Knight of Cups, um, it, it, it makes sure it moves. It, it, it's like, you know, it takes its time moving, right? It don't move fast and all of that. The Knight of Cups takes its sweet time moving. Like the, like the other knights, the Knight of Cups is on a mission in... In this case, he's on a mission to deliver an emotional gift, okay? He's in a healthy, he's healthy, green nature world of mountains and plants, but the wind is at his face. Oh, that's true. That's what it looked like. I know what that was. Suggesting that he's facing some resistance on his journey. So maybe you resisted something, right? He's well dressed for the journey. And must the most important person is his task. So whatever he's moving on, he's moving on towards his task, but it's something that it's like you are resisting. <clears throat> Right? Um, so, where we at? There is no doubt he will reach his goals. Right? You might be the Knight of Cups. Or it may be someone you know. Someone who is trying to get through to you. Despite resistance. So it's either that you're resisting or somebody's trying to get to you no matter what. No matter what. And it's that when it's like you, it's like somebody's going through or whoever, whether it's you or them, walking through a storm, right? It's like that wind and it's just blowing at you and you're trying to get, but it's like you're resisting this move, all right, where you need to be or somebody is trying to get to you no matter what. All right, now, that is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And then you got the Six of Pentacles. All right, and it shows somebody giving you money. This hand is huge, right? And then it got the um the Justice on the hand, but it's the Six of Pentacles, right? So, I don't know what it is, but maybe it is that you're waiting on some type of, you resisting the help or something is trying to, come to help you or you're going to get this help that you waiting on okay it's like you feel like something no matter what is standing in the way but it's coming to you let's find out what this book is saying about that the six of pentacles there are two ways to read the situation presented here in one case the car is about the man who has enough money to give, to give it to the situ the the um the, the the person that deserves it, right? In the other case, the car is about being distracted and accepting money from a wealth or something is like Somebody is either given to, well, in this case, somebody is like, somebody's resisting this help, right? Or someone's trying to get to you, right? Or you feel like this money ain't coming to you, right? Or somebody here that's, um, Or something here that's, somebody's giving you money, some type of a wealthy person, or somebody got it like that to give it to you, all right? In either case, the theme is charity, right? 
You need help. You need someone to help you some kind of way. Anywhere you look, there are people in need. There are people in need. You are never so poor that you cannot help. And you are never so wealthy that you cannot receive help. All right? So I said that this morning, right? About how I feel like it's good to help other people in need, but also let's help ourselves. Right? I said that this morning in the reading. That I feel like it's people living out the street, homeless people, but I just feel like this country are willing to help everybody, but don't realize how desperately some people here are. Right? Like if it's it's like you you gotta make so amount of money to get help. And if you make a dollar over, they're not gonna help you. But you living with nothing to eat on the table, just enough to pay your bills. Right? So don't ever feel that you can't help somebody in need because you never know how God is coming towards you. Right? Um So, the scales on the wealthy man hand, the scales on the wealthy man hand right there, right, are there to remind us that the goals of a healthy, remind us that these goals of a healthy, oh, of a, uh, goals of a healthy society is a, um, suitable a flow of wealth so that everyone has a chance to succeed. And no matter what it is, Pisces, you can succeed. You may think that everything is on hold or you or it's like something that you feel like, when is it gonna happen for me? Or or either you resisting this. Like, you know, like a lot of Pisces, like we help so many people, but we don't like to ask for help, right? We don't like to ask for help, but we can help everybody, but we don't like to ask for help. Like, we can be without, and nobody will ever know that we were out, right? But don't try to resist this because somebody here is willing and is going to help you, right? Check it out. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is the lady that has it all. This is the lady that is motherly, right? That will help anybody. Self-made, right? Um, will help you get yourself off your feet. It's like... Money is going to come to you. You maybe think that it's not. Or you maybe feel like, you know, your job is messing with you. Or you feel like um, they put people over you. Right? You more than qualify for the job, but they put somebody over you. Or you just feel like when it's just, like some things are not moving for you. You feel like, when is it going to happen for me? When am I going to be where I'm supposed to be? But it's letting you know that you're going to get there, right? Um, or you feel like somebody here doesn't help you, right? It's either a job that you feel like is not moving right, you're not doing what you want to do, you're not getting what you're supposed to do, or it's in a relationship where they're not giving you. It's like they, like you feel like they're taking advantage of you, like they always want you to give to them. Look at you. Like you handing money to them. Why would you want to be handing money to a man? Why do you feel like you got to help this person all the time? Right? I feel like on this picture shows that it's like you helping them all the time. It's like this person, they coming for you, but it's like you're looking in, in, in the cup. Does the cup have anything to offer you? You're not looking at them. You're looking at the cup. Because it looks like you the one that, that got everything to offer somebody. It, you know what? The best 
thing for you to do is not to invite nobody to your house that you meet. Because when they come to see you, I don't care, if you, I don't care how you live, Pisces, where you live. For some reason, people always feel like you have more. And you really don't. It's like you struggling, but they don't. They see like you got it all going on. And you don't. We all can use help. But it's, it look like you giving to them more than they can give to you. I don't know if you're married to a person. I don't know what kind of relationship you're in. But whatever you're in, it's like you give to them more than they give to you. But you, it's like a choice here because the two are choices. What is the choice here, Pisces? Like, when are you going to stop? When you need help and nobody's there to help you, but they want you to help them. It's like you can go to work and then the own other place don't want to go there, don't want to be there, but they want you to be there 24 fucking seven, seven days a week. More than you, you go weeks and days and days without a day off. And then they get mad if you ask for a day off and they want to know what you want the day off for, right? It could be that, or it could be like, you feel like it's like, okay, you feel like, okay, you, you're emotional, you just standing there, and you feel like you're going to court or something, or it's a court case here, because you got justice on that six of pentacles, like, I feel like somebody is not, I don't know if they're not helping you with child support, they're not giving you, or, or I, I mean, not helping you with the kids, or just not helping you get by, right? You're not getting the help you need. You feel like things are not moving for you. But I feel like you're the one that's helping them more than they're helping you. Like, okay, like you may live with somebody or you may have a relationship with somebody, but that person looks to you like you're their mother. It's not like you are a couple, but more like you mom. Like, help me. Let me fuck you. Let me eat off of you, but... My, I mean, like whining and crying. I need help. I need this, and I need you to do that. It's like some people can't do it on their own, right? But they look for you to do it. Well, you the one that needs help. They take it from you, and when they take from you, they take from everything around you: your kids, your bills, your rent. You understand? It's like I don't know Pisces, but I just feel like. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. You're stressing. Right? And all of this is just going to make you sick. You understand? It's like somebody wants you to do, okay, we're going to get the divorce. We're, Pisces paying for it. All right? It's like everything, you need to pay for everything. I'm just here. All right? It's like they want you to do everything for them. But they it's like this person can give the other people but can't give to you. Or this job can give. It's not giving you a raise but want you to constantly live and live and live and live for them. But they're not helping you. But it, it feels like something here is like makes you feel like it's, it's a resistant. It's like something here that's not allowing you to move. You feel like you're not moving. Like things is not moving for you. Okay. Now, whether it's in 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 in, in love, in help, physic of uh, um um uh, paying your bills, um, or just not giving to you, not being equal with you. Okay. Not being bad. Not bringing you balance. It's like somebody just want to live off of you. I don't know why, but that's how it looks like. It's like somebody wants you to give them everything, but they're not even being right. Nowhere, no near around. It's like you, you helping somebody, and they can't help you do shit. I don't know what the, I don't know what it is, Pisces. All right, I don't know. It seems like you're doing too much helping. Too much. It's like you somebody's doormat, all right? Like somebody's controlling you. 
Like, I don't know, Pisces, wait the fuck up. What the hell's going on here? All right? Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Tell me more. The King of Swords. Like, this person's not moving at all. All right? Resisting. All right? Resisting. Over there, what is he doing? Uh, uh, shining his, um, looking at you with his swords. I don't know. But, hey, okay, I want to move, but I'm resisting. I don't know how to move towards Pisces. I, I want to go there, but I'm not going to go. Okay? It's like, it's like this person just sitting there like, I want to be, I want to think. It's like Pisces, they think about you, but they're not moving towards you. Like this person, I don't know, this person got issues, all right? Um, they think about you, but not enough to move towards you. Ain't that some shit? All right. The King of Swords is full. Is full connected in his mental emotions, all right? And offer his ideas up generously. He doesn't wear a crown or carries a spear. All right? He doesn't wear a crown or carry a spear. Ain't that so? He doesn't need such um, trappings. He's a practical thinker. Secure in his authority. Excuse me. So he don't need to wear a crown because he knows who he is. Mm. Always thinking. Always thinking. He's a practical thinker, honey. That's what he is. He doesn't need to beg. All right? Or call attention to himself. Mm, okay. And that's how they are. They're the kind of people that go somewhere. I'm talking about the king of swords. Swords. Right? They go somewhere. They don't want all the attention. They... Cause, <laughs> I used to tell the guy, "Can you want to do a videotape with me?" He'd be like, "No, <laughs> right? No, I don't want to, right?" Um, but um, so he doesn't like being where is is all like looking at him. But he likes being in 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 social event, but don't want all this attention, right? <laughs> the King of Swords is something else. Sharp think, right? But has these moving eyes, honey, always looking, being secure, like, you know, checking out the scenery. You know what I mean? Like, um, the antennas. The antennas are up, right? But like he said, like it said, he don't have to wear a crown because he, he's very sure of himself, right? Um, he doesn't show emotions. He's not the kind that will show you all this emotion in front of people and, you know, like, like, uh, you know, sh uh, show you off, right? Everything he do, he likes to do behind closed doors, okay? He don't want anybody to know his business, mm, mm, mm. okay? He got a sharp-ass mouth, loves his family, as they say. Very close to his family and close to his friends. The friends that he had, he had since he was for many, many years. All right? And um, he's not the type of person that likes to be in relationships. All right? He don't like to be in commitment. He don't like to be tied down. All right? He don't like to, he, he likes to tell you exactly what it is, and he will talk to you if you try to make him feel like he don't know what he's talking about, right? Do not act like you know him if you don't, because they'll let you know. You don't know me, all right? Um, he always try to carry receipts about whatever it is that he knows, so they can pull it out and show you that you're wrong and he's right. 
But this knight is it, this knight of cup is not moving in. Neither is this king of swords. All right. With the six of pentacles not giving and taking, it's like this person's not giving. Right? It's a lot of arguing and fighting and carrying on. A lot of childish um, back and forth, back and forth. Like um, gossiping, talking shit. Um, just not getting along. You know, like, can we all work together? But no, we not because nobody's on the same page. Like, like, okay, you know, the Six of Pentacles is give and take, right? You help me, I help you. You know, we can go half on this or that, whatever. You know, um, we can um, come to some type of understanding. But this person, no, it's too much going on. Too much going on. Too much going on and it ain't nothing getting accomplished. Because it's too much going on. All right. That's why it ain't no give and take. That's why somebody may be doing too much over here, not enough over here, because it's just too much going on. Right? It's like if I call a meeting and I tell everybody at four o'clock is a meeting, okay? And it's mandatory that you be here. Right? Mandatory. Time of meeting come, everybody looking all crazy. Because I said mandatory. You better be there. All right? That's, I don't care about no problems you got going on. But you better be there. So I have a meeting about whatever it is. And then if nobody wants to get along in a meeting, everybody feel like they're right. Or they want to tell me about everything but what you're there for. Okay, that's why I tell people all the time, when you come to work, when you come to work, right, for anything that I have going on, please don't come and meet friends up in this bitch, because as soon as you meet friends and y'all get into arguing and fussing, both of y'all will be fired. I do not have time to find out who was right and who was wrong. And suspending and all this hell fucking no. Because when you come to work, you come to work. Not to argue and gossip and fight. And think that you better than the next person. And ain't nobody better than nobody in here. And nobody got to sit there and make me feel like, um, you know, I got favoritism. No, 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 no. No, there ain't no favoritism. Okay? So, that is like this. You got the six of pentacles, and somebody feel like somebody doing more for one than the next. But then there's too much carrying on and too much arguing. Nobody can get nothing done because, you know, somebody feel like, oh, they, they doing more for them or for me. and we Nobody's on the same page. Nobody can even get to talking about what the problem is. Because all they worrying about who did who, what did what, and who didn't do what. Alright? That's how it feels. And that's not the way it's supposed to go. So you got this King of Swords, the Knight of Cups, fighting, resisting, the King of Swords sitting there like, okay, am I going to do it or am I not? But then, not enough giving and taking here, not enough doing, not enough... Not enough equal share. Not enough being equal. Not enough balancing. It's too much arguing and fighting. Nobody can get a word in because nobody can get nothing done because it's, it's nobody can hear each other out. All right? Too much gossiping. Too much bullshit. Backstabbing. All that dumb shit. So you got the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, the king of swords need to be somebody that is willing to help you. All right, the king of swords is a kind of person. I don't know what the, I'm telling you right now. I, I don't know what's wrong with these people, but you right. You will be the queen of pentacles in a king of swords life. 
All right? Because they don't waste money. They don't throw money around. Right? They buy what they need. I'd rather smoke me some weed than, than to take your ass out to eat. Don't ever wait that I'm going to buy you anything for Christmas, birthdays, or anything because you ain't getting shit. Like, and you doing a lot. You gifting them, but they don't, they're not givers. They are receivers. Right? And you sitting there with the queen of cup, the queen of pinnacles, giving this person this. So what they offering you because you're looking in a cup. So when it's in a cup, it ain't shit in a cup. But you offering them everything, honey. Right? And but you looking in a cup like, is this cup empty? Because it don't have nothing in there for me. A decision that need to be made in a situation here that costs a relationship, uh, taking it to the next level, which I don't know. The two of cup means a marriage, a commitment, which I don't see it done with no air sign, a commitment. All right, taking it to another level, which I don't, I just feel like, what is in that cup? Because I feel like that cup is empty. It's nothing in there. Like they waiting for you to pour something in their cup. Tell me more about this King of Swords. So you got the King of Swords and the King of Wands. Now this motherfucker got a crown on his head. Now this motherfucker said, I don't have to wear a crown because I know who I am. Then you got this person there that's coming like in rare form. Oh, you don't have to wear a crown, but you showing me your swords. And then resisting. What are you resisting between two people? What are, what are you resisting here? What is it that you resisting? Because I feel like something here is not moving. But you resisting the change to move. What are you doing? You got... I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know if this person... Is sitting there like, oh, well, I'm not moving, and but you're sitting there saying I'm on fire, or you messing around with two people. Who the fuck know? I don't know. But you resisting the change that's going on. Or it could be somebody, um, you know, trying to figure out what they want. They don't know what they want. Or they trying to play you out for somebody else. I don't know. Right? Tell me more about this wants, this father wants with this fighting. And it's like somebody here is resisting the change. Like, I don't know what the hell it is. Right? The swords, the knight of swords. Now you got the knight of cups and then the knight of swords. The knight of swords, listen to me. So you got the six of pentacles not bringing you balance, which should. Which should be an equal give and take. And then you got all this fighting going on. And then you got somebody that's coming to you like, honey, what a sword. First he showed you his sword. Now he wants to use his sword. So this person is, is, is a hot mess. You got swords and you got wands. What the fuck? Like, I don't know who's messing with who, but you got, I don't know. And then you got the page of pentacles, right? Pisces, you got so much to offer somebody. So freaking much to offer. So much to offer. But it's in the beginning stage. It's like, all right, I need to think more about this. I'm not going to move towards this because I need to think. I don't want to move quickly into nothing that somebody saying, Let's do this or let's do that. Let's get in the race or whatever. Because that person is coming with empty cups to me. And it look like where it's like I'm not getting what I want, but they get what they want. So you got to be more careful about this, right? More careful. Pisces, if you ask me, I feel like you're coming into something here, right? That you, it's like you offering them the, your cups, but you're not moving because you got to make sure. And then they offer somebody all of their shit, right? 
this is a marriage. This is something that what some I don't know. Somebody wanna come to you. Well, I got everything off you, but where's that? Where's the empty cup? Is that because the cup is empty? Are you waiting for me to go get the champagne? Are you waiting for me to go get the wine, the liquor, whatever it is? Pour it in your cup. You want me to pour water in your cup? You want me to pour what? All my money in your cup? Everything I got in, my, in your cup for you? You want to come to the palace and live good? What? What you, are you bringing to me? Is the question. And I'm gonna say it again, Pisces. I'm gonna say it again. Stop inviting people to your house. Because once they see you and how, how you do, they feel like you living good. Like, shit, I ain't got to do shit for you. I ain't got to do nothing for you. You got a lot of swords, a lot of wants, and a lot of pinnacles with no fucking love. You only got two cups. You got the knight of cups and the two of cups. This got to do with marriage. This person is a hot damn mess. This person may be married to somebody else. This person maybe wants you to take care of other things that ain't got nothing to do with you or promising you the world and you ain't seeing shit. Not a damn thing. So you figure that one out. All right? If, if, if you stay long enough, you might see something. If you stay long enough to deal with all they shit, you're going to, it's like, it's like somebody saying to you, I got this and that and, and you better not say nothing. You might as well lean right on with it because that's all you get. It's like they want you to be immune to bullshit. Immune to them bringing you nothing. Nothing. You figure that one out. Are you that damn blind? Are you that damn going cuckoo for cocoa? Like, it's like you, you reminiscing or whatever it is that you going through your head and you telling yourself... But this is what I want. But in life, no, it ain't. Mm -mm. You got to make the right decisions for yourself. You got to stop letting people come on in and sleeping in on, on land, sitting a funky ass on your furniture and sitting at the table and then going to your bed and you got to let people stop doing that. Do you understand people carry a lot of energies with them? Filthy ass, nasty mouth. You don't know where they put their mouth in. On. Mm. Mm. Think about it. Right? Mm-mm. You got to you got to think more, Pisces. You deserve better. And if you learn that. It's, it's, it's not a way that you're resisting it, but it's a way that you think how you see yourself, how much you think of yourself. It's not that you're better than somebody else. It's that you want to be equally, you know, a give and take. You're not. It's not like you want to, you know, take everything from somebody. No, you want it to be right. Like, I've never been, I don't know, and I don't know about y'all, I've never been one of them stay-at-home moms and Raise kids at home while the man went. I never done none of that. No, I don't even know what that means, right? Um, because at the end it comes back to bite you in your ass. Because you don't even know nothing about life because you live life for someone else. Right? You keep having babies after babies and you think, oh well, he said I can stay home and I don't have to go to work, and then you depending on everything from a man. Because you want to be, they tell you to stay, be a stay-at-home mother. Meantime, let me tell you, you work more at home, taking care of kids, keeping the house clean, making sure everything is done. And what do they do? They come in and they go back out. And who are you? The housekeeper, right? The caretaker. The homemaker. Yeah, you are a rug to them. You are disposable to them. Because you must have a mind of your own and do for yourself. And by doing for yourself, do you know what you want? You don't settle for somebody to say, look, I got a girl here, a wife here, kids, and you still screwing that person. 
You think things don't come back to you? The whole time you was with him, you was going crazy. Then when you decide to say, you know what, enough is enough, then you get your mind right. But now you want to beat somebody up over everything you allow them to do to you. And you allow yourself to do it to yourself. Wake up. You can't finger point nothing at nobody because nobody's putting a gun in a knife to your head saying do this or stay here. Or you don't have a life of your own. Yes, you do. You got to, let me tell you something. Everything in your life that you earn is yours. The way you live your life is what you ask God for. When you live right, when you think right, and you nurture yourself, and you drink plenty of water and you sleep, and you're on your dean with yourself, not with somebody else, but it's about you. It's about you, Pisces. It's not what, who did wrong to you, who mistreated you, who left you, who abused you, who abandoned you. It's not none of that. It's about you. And when you stop saying the book of broken hearted, left for dead, abused and abused, right? Oh, I just want them because I want to have fun with them. I'm not looking for a relationship. I just want to have fun with them. Well, go ahead and be, um, uh, uh, what, uh, uh, what, uh, uh, um, a sugar mama. Go ahead. Okay? But don't, but let's not finger point and say what they did because that's what you're doing to yourself. The first time you let somebody get away with not doing for you or not helping when they supposed to help, and I'm not saying put everything on a plate for you, but just owning up to what they need to do for themselves. Like anywhere you go, you're going to have to do it. But if you allow somebody to come in your life and do nothing, because they're going to have to do it anyway. You can't go to the store and get enough for free. You can't live anywhere for free. Right? You got to come up with your side of the share. If you don't pay your bills, they turn your shit off. If you don't pay your car, knows they're going to repossess that shit. You don't pay your mortgage, you're going to get kicked the fuck out. You don't pay rent, you get put out. You don't show up to work, you get fired. These are all the things that you need to do for yourself. And if somebody don't do it for you, that lives with you, or you work for whatever it is, why would you stand for it? Why? Think about it, Pisces. If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. I am so sorry if you feel like I'm being hard on you. I'm really young. But I'm not being hard on you. I just want you to see yourself for who you are. Look in the mirror and look at yourself. Write yourself a letter and tell you and, and write everything how you feel and then read the letter over. And then, then you'll know how you really feel. You're confused. What are you confused about? What are you so confused about? If you ain't confused about love, you're confused about your job. If you ain't confused about your job, you're confused about your damn kids and what they do to you. What are you so confused about? You have to get your life in order. And once you get your life in order, you get the people that are in your life in order. You cannot let people walk on you, use you, and abuse you mentally, physically, and emotionally. Pisces. We'll talk later. If you need a reader, get it from me or whoever you want. I don't give a damn who you get it from. But this is a general reading, not a private reading. Okay? So fit it where it fit. If you can't afford it, then fit this damn shit where it fit. I don't know what to tell you. And I'll talk to you later. One love. Bye-bye.